Hello everyone, I'm Grace. Today, I'm going to recommend five TV shows for learning Chinese. At first, I will tell you two TV programs that is more suitable for the beginner level, and then I will give you three TV shows for intermediate to advanced levels. Okay, let's get started. I think a wonderful thing about learning a language is that you can learn it through several means. You don't have to only sit in a classroom and study it. You can also learn it from TV shows or even interacting with native speakers. So today, let's take a look at what TV shows can help you improve your Chinese. The first show I want to talk about is Xiao Zhu Pei Qi. Xiao Zhu Pei Qi, Peppa Pig. Yeah, you know this, right? This is a British TV series. Many Chinese-speaking people recommend watching this to learn basic English, and vice versa because it's also dubbed in Chinese. 你好,我是小狗丹尼。那只是个玩具恐龙。恐龙。So right now, what you need to know is how to find it on YouTube. So I type in 小猪佩奇。all right, I use zhu in to type because in Taiwan we use that. Still, I will put the pin in in the description so that it will be easier for you to search. And if you want to start with the first episode of the first season, you can type di yi ji. Di yi ji. Di yi ji is the first season. Ji is season. And di yi ji is the first episode. Ji is episode, and then you will see here the first episode. I recommend you watch the Chinese version first and try to recognize the words or grammar you have learned, and then go to watch the English version to find out what words or expressions you didn't get. It's only five minutes for each episode, so I feel like it will not be too overwhelming. And because this TV program is for children, the words are very simple. So this is good material for beginners to learn. Okay, the second TV show I want to introduce is Baba Chinar. Baba Chinar, where are we going, Dad? This is a reality TV show in which several celebrities bring their children and go on a journey. I think this TV show is suitable for beginner to intermediate levels. In this show, because a lot of times the adults are talking to the children, so they won't speak too fast or use hard words. Sometimes you can see the children are confused by the words adults use because they haven't learned it yet. So adults have to explain hard words to kids in an easier way. And also it's so entertaining to see children saying something funny and their cute reaction. Jasper go. Next, let's move on to TV shows for intermediate to advanced levels. The first one is 十二道风味 or 风味 Chef Nick. The topic of this TV show is mainly about food, but it's not just about that. In season 1 in each episode, the host invited some celebrities to go on a journey with him. <laughs> They travel in China or all over the world to explore places and collect ingredients used in a given cuisine and then make a delicious dish. During the journey, they chat about their life, their career, or their attitudes about life. So I'm sure you can learn a lot by watching this. Next one is 小资女孩向前冲小资女孩向前冲 Office Girls. This is a Taiwanese TV drama. If you want to learn Taiwanese style Mandarin, I highly recommend this. This show is about a girl who wants to buy a house on her own, so she works very hard and tries to save as much money as she can. And in the meantime, she gets to know a man who is the son of her company's boss. 
。哎，我为什么要帮你拿给他、啊？服务客人不是员工基本要做的事情吗？ And there are many things happened after that. It's a good show. While watching it, you can learn how we speak in daily life. But there's a character who tends to speak in a dramatic way. It's better not to learn from him. Ah, 动起来，动起来，赶快，赶快。The final one, technically, is not a TV show, but I'd like to introduce this one to you because it's very funny and related to our daily life. It's a YouTube channel called Zhe Qun Ren. Zhe Qun Ren. This group of people, and it's also in Taiwanese style Mandarin. Each episode is short and has English subtitles. You can learn the way we speak and common expressions we use because the show is pretty close to our daily life. Hello, I'm Yu Ren. Dong, Dong Zhi Han. 小姐，今天没有你的预约耶，不可能吧？我有收到简讯了，你再帮我传一下好不好 ？Okay, that's all I have for you today. You can find most of the shows I introduced on YouTube. By the way, if you have any TV shows that you recommend for learning Chinese, you are welcome to leave a comment below to let us know. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, remember to subscribe to my channel for more information. I will see you next time. Bye.